Keely and I have been friends for almost 10 years. We are with each other all the time, whether we're working or just being crazy. We love being together. It's got to the point where we're not just friends, we're like family. We laugh, we love, we cry, we laugh some more. As we go through the ups and downs, no matter where life's roller coaster takes us, we know we'll get through it together. And along the way, we've met some amazing people. Shauna! Keely met Shauna through an ex. Yeah, and at first she hated me. Well, she thought you were loud and obnoxious. I am! <laughs> anyway, Shauna is a good time girl who loves fashion and is always there whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a wingman at the club. Which is where Joey comes in. Shauna introduced us to Mr. J. Ryan a few years back. He's got his hands into every aspect of the LA scene. Promoter, publicist, and self-proclaimed socialite, Joey is all about being seen and making that money. Gucci! The baby of the group is Asia. This little dancer from the valley is young, full of life, and brings a positive light to everything. I know, right? God, yes. But she's our little sunshine, and we love it. Each week, the five of us meet for dinner to talk life, love, and everything in between. We don't always agree. Nope, no we do not. <laughs> but we always tell the truth. This is Dinner with Friends. A fantastic week. I had a great week. How about you, Joey? My week was awesome. Mine was terrible. Okay. Full on terrible? Uh, yes, you guys. I found out my oh gosh. ex and one of my really good friends who I've been hanging out with like a lot lately have been like texting each other back and forth. And to me, I'm not gonna say, oh, it's his fault. I'm really actually looking at her a little bit more. Like, friendships way more than these like relationships you have here and there, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I, mean, I just yeah. feel like the part that I hated the most was how did I find out from him? It's hard because it's like I'm mad at both of them, obviously, but at the end of the day, your friends are supposed to last, you know, through thick and thin, through boyfriends, through everything. Your good through, friends are. Yeah, your good friends. Agree. But exactly. that's where you have to, like, decide what kind of friend is she. Yeah. Honestly, like, it's kind of hard because it's like, she's a good friend of mine, and I'm trying to, like, decide, like, I don't know, what do you guys think? That's like... A lot. A lot. It's a lot. A whole lot. Girl, well, why? Personally, <laughs> I feel like the fact that they were going in like that, like I think you're kind of cute, she should have told you right off the bat. I'm sorry, but that's not a good friend. Cross the line. She, she crossed, crossed the, line the line right there. Now, yes, he was wrong because as your ex-boyfriend, he's going to try to piss you off because that's what dudes do. Like He's going to try to make you jealous to either win you back or just to piss you off. But I give it to her for showing you the text message, but then again, Shauna's right. Like, what kind of phone did she have? She could have deleted certain things that she didn't want you to see just, like, just to make sure that she was back on your good side. Right? You know good and darn well if your ex-boyfriend would have texted me. <laughs> good and darn? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I want to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say is not appropriate. <laughs> but you know that if he would have texted me, I would have been like, um... Okay, mm -hmm. girl, so, bye. Click, no, no, I'm gonna make a click out of that text and click into the new text, open up Sabrina text. Um, why is he texting me talking about, girl, your shoes were cute today? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you show Sabrina they were cute? Like, uh, yeah. Why, when the first text message, let alone the 25th one, did you not come to me and say, because this is what's going on? She planned on having sex with him. Thank you. Why? <laughs> She is a sinister, shady, mylies.com tricky bitch. I it's the truth. I'm sorry. Preach it. It, it. I'm sorry. Wow. You, <laughs> like, no yes. And I'm loyal. sorry. You are just like the most loyal person in the entire world, which is sweet, and I love you for it. God bless your I heart, can't. sweetie. But let me tell you something out there. There's a lot more chicks like me are out there than there are like you. Okay? <laughs> That's just the truth. I'm going to tell you this okay? from experience. I hate we're you. bad. Okay? I hate you. I love you back. Okay? <laughs> Let's talk about shady friends, because now I'm starting to question, has anyone else had any shady friends? <laughs> like, is this like, oh, what's going on in the world I have. Yes. of Absolutely. shadiness with, as far as when you trust someone as a friend and they do you dirty? So I was watching this new show called Mob Wives, 
And there's two characters in particular on the show. One's name is Karen, one's name is Drita. Now Karen was dating this guy for seven years. They were in a serious relationship. They loved each other, everything, whatever. They broke up. Drita, however, being Karen's best friend, married the guy. Since we're on the topic of shady friends, I'm sorry, but that's shady. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is something I would never do to you, and I hope you would never do to me. Marriage is oh, a okay. different story, oh, too. Let her, let her go ahead and say it. Say you wouldn't they do it. They weren't married when they were dating. Say you wouldn't do it. Not to me. Maybe to them. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that you never have a husband that I like. Ooh. Ooh. How is it bad uh -huh. You guys are broken up, and... If I am better for this person, this person is better for me. Who cares if you were married to him before? I must, I'm trying to figure out where the problem really is in this sense. I'm about to hit you with okie doke. Oh. I'm about to hit you with okie doke. <laughs> okie doke. I've never heard of this okie doke. Hit me with it. What if I married? Mm. Don't, don't, don't go there. That's not no, nice. No, she needs to go there. That's not funny. Sorry. That's not funny or nice. Regardless of what you're going through, at the end of the day, if you decide <laughs> to go back and do your friend dirty, if you don't think it's going to come back to you tenfold or whatever the saying is, Usually, I don't know. Obviously, to take that chance. Yeah, and that's not worth it. Obviously not, because if Shauna hit her with the okie doke, she's not. <laughs> she's not <laughs> she's <part of> it. <laughs> Speaking of the okie doke, <laughs> Suspects McGee. <laughs> Plenty of people that are going through the same things that we're going through. And I think it's really hilarious. So I think that we should address a certain situation. Okay. Now, this young woman I thought was hilarious. She goes, this is toward, she wrote this to you actually. She goes, Dear Keely, my boyfriend and I broke up for a while. And during our breakup, my best friend confessed that he was falling for me. I still wasn't over my ex, and I was in a confused and vulnerable state. Underline, confused and vulnerable state. So I ended up sleeping with him. Ooh. Now, Ooh. me and my boyfriend are back together, and he wants me to cut all ties to my best friend. Completely just, just... Screw him. You did that already. Him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did that. But doesn't that anymore? You stop talking to him. And they're done that. Um, she wants to know what she should do. I feel she should cut all ties. She doesn't want to lose, but she doesn't want to lose. Really? No. Pause. She doesn't want to lose her friendship with her best friend because she doesn't have feelings for him. She was just in a confused <laughs> <laughs> You crossed that line, but yeah. as soon as you cross that line, that's your fault. That's your bad. In so, my opinion, oh. she already made that decision. Nope. Like, she already made the decision by crossing the line. Mm -hmm. And now, if you're trying to tiptoe back and backpedal back to the boyfriend, I'm sorry. You gotta understand. Should I reread the confusing, vulnerable state thing again? No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody asked you to go and sleep with your best friend. Go sleep with a random guy if that was the case. If you needed to be confused and vulnerable, like you're saying, go and be confused and vulnerable with a random person that won't ever matter. So. Keely, go. And then please, I have to say something. Please, please. I got First a lot to all, say. Why does the boyfriend know <laughs> that you had sex with your best friend? Who told him? Did you tell him were you in a confusing boat over state search and vomit up the mouth? Hey, by the way, I had sex with my best friend. Dummy. If what? me and you had sex when you were in a vulnerable <laughs> state or whatnot, and then you got back with your ex-boyfriend, you ain't cutting me off, bitch. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I, love you. I just totally saying. agree with Joey. I'm sorry, he's right. Girls, for some reason, decide they need to run into the arms of another man when a one is one is disappointed. And she really actually kind of needs to apologize to him if that's she how does. she feels. If she's not in love with him, she needs to apologize that she allowed it to go somewhere where she didn't really want it to be. And next time, girl, if you can't keep your legs closed, then keep your mouth closed. Thank <laughs> you. Oh my god. I can't imagine what we're going to be talking about next week, but uh, let's just pray that we make it till next week, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, dinner with friends.